her Atlanta Black Star. Local reports, 22 year old Aiden Hernandez, mayoral Hispanic man in the Seattle area. Has pleaded not guilty to second degree assault and hate crime charges after he dragged a 43 year old black woman off a city bus and stabbed her several times, March 7th. What police said was a racially motivated attack. Hernandez Mayoral had allegedly called the unidentified woman various racial slurs before the violent assault. The attack happened less than a week after state lawmakers approved an emergency hotline to help victims of hate crimes and bias incidents. At his March 25th arraignment, Hernandez Mayoral denied the charges and the judge set his trial to begin May 20th. Meanwhile, an evidentiary hearing will be held April 8th. The case will be brought by the King County Prosecuting Attorney's Office, which said the attack was, quote, completely unprovoked. Hernandez Mayoral remains in the King County Jail on a $250,000 bond for this random attack on a black woman he had never met before. She is simply riding the bus and suddenly is violently attacked. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Suspect is no stranger to law enforcement. Go figure. Rap sheet, it contains convictions for domestic violence, assault, harassment, second degree robbery. That's according to court records obtained by the Seattle Times. Hernandez Mayoral now faces accusations he beat up and stabbed a defenseless woman. But the victim in this case emerged without serious injuries. as She was protected by a thick coat she had on, according to police. Reminder of the incident, the Kent Police Department said previously the attack happened the evening of March 7th, just outside the doors of a King County Metro bus, which came to a stop on Central Avenue South and South 259th Street after the woman complained to the bus driver. Multiple witnesses later gave statements to authorities and provided video footage of the confrontation on the bus, as well as the assault that erupted outside. The identity of the woman was withheld by authorities as Hernandez Mayoral allegedly threatened the victim due to her race, saying he did not like black people. The victim later identified her attacker and told police that <laughs> He began ranting, making racist comments on the bus. When she turned around to see who was speaking, the suspect turned his insults towards her, just turned around. Stranger allegedly told the woman at one point, go sit in the back of the bus, made a crude reference to a hero, civil rights activist Rosa Parks. Situation threatened to escalate further as the victim heard the suspect spit, but she did not know if he had done so toward her. Feeling afraid, the woman turned to the driver for help, urging him to call the police, stop the bus so she could get off. At the same time, the suspect followed her to the front of the bus, appearing increasingly agitated as he paced back and forth in the aisle, according to court documents. When the bus finally stopped, the suspect demanded the woman get off. Before she had the chance to react, the man allegedly grabbed her by the throat, manhandled the woman off the bus, court record state. Outside, the man punched the victim repeatedly as she tried to defend herself. The security footage. Moments later, another man who had been riding the bus with Hernandez Merrill intervened, briefly separated the two. That's when, according to police, the woman was stabbed several times with a small pocket knife, leaving her with superficial flesh wounds. Lucky to be alive. Authorities arrived on the scene within minutes, but the suspect and the other man had already fled. Police caught up with Hernandez Mayoral the same night as he tried to hide. What a coward. Hide underneath a car in a nearby neighborhood. Placed under arrest, he was. Police did not charge the second man in connection with the attack and withheld his name. He was sent to the Kent City Corrections Facility and faces an obstruction charge for trying to (coughs) interfere in his partner's arrest. I want his name too. Why, Why are you hiding his name? And that's just a little footnote to this horror. Senator, you can't even ride the bus with strangers and mind your own business, apparently, if you're black. If you're black, yeah. I I, want to note this just because this is labeled as a hate crime that the 
suspect is Hispanic. And I'm saying that to say that anti-black racism is not just relegated to white people. All other people, including people of color, can be anti-black racist. And in this case, we see that. The fact that he told her to go to the back of the bus, the reference to the great Rosa Parks in 1955, the Montgomery bus boycott. They boycotted the bus, that particular bus company for 381 days. People were disciplined enough to say, if we can't get on the bus and sit wherever we want, then we just won't ride the bus. And it was an economic thing. They stripped that bus company from making money because a lot of black people made money. It was an extraordinary sacrifice by black people who decided to walk to work, who carpooled to work. Some of them were threatened on their jobs because they decided not to ride the bus. Imagine that. But back to modern times, anti-black racism, and I repeat this, let's underscore it, underline it, exclamation point, is not just reserved for white people. This is just like just one of many, many examples. And Sharon, I just wondered, I mean, the bus driver heard all this ruckus going. Yes. Why in the hell didn't somebody step in before? Yeah. I mean, that's just, and you know, I don't know what the the video footage, you know, what was happening again in their minds. So I'm not trying to indict anybody. Mm -hmm. I am just saying that this is a buildup to this. Why wasn't anybody trying to stop this man before he got to her and the nerve, the nerve of him? Safety in numbers, group mentality. 9-11, A nine eleven, let's roll together, yeah. and that you know reminds me of what you just talked about: the boycott, Montgomery, and how successful days. It was the best example yeah. of I can show you better than I can tell you. Come on, why I loved it. We can still do this. Not begging. We're going to just show you what's going to happen. What you're going to do, or else. That's it.